Hello everyone, this is our session three on pairs of straight lines. We're continuing with exercise 4.1. We've finished around two questions of it. Moving on to the third one. Uh, third question says, find the combined equation of the pairs of lines passing through the origin and perpendicular to the lines represented by the following equations okay so exercise 4.1 question 3 i'm doing the first one okay uh, the first one is 5x square minus 8xy plus 3y square equal to 0 okay so it says this, find the combined equation of the pairs of lines passing through the origin and perpendicular to the lines represented by this combined equation. Okay, so this is a combined equation of two lines. Okay, let's say combined equation of L1 and L2, line, line 1 and line 2. Now we have to find a combined equation of We have to find combined equation of lines perpendicular to L1 and L2, okay, and passing through the origin, okay. So, for that, the best part would be to know the slope of the two lines, okay. So to know the slope of these two lines, okay, we require the slope of L1 and L2, okay, that we will get from this combined equation, okay. So let us begin with finding the slopes of first L1 and L2, okay. So the combined equation is 5x square minus 8xy plus 3y square equal to 0. Comparing with our combined equation that we know from the theorem. So comparing with ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. Okay. Therefore a is equal to 5, b is equal to 3 and 2h is equal to minus 8. Okay. Now we know that m1 plus m2 that is addition of the slopes of the two lines is equal to minus 2h upon b that is equal to minus of minus 8 upon b that is 3 8 upon 3 and m1 into m2 is equal to a upon b Okay, which is equal to 5 upon 3. Okay, now why have we taken this? So, uh, we know that M1 and M2 and M1, M2 are basically slopes of the two lines uh, represented by this combined equation. So, they are slopes of, let's say, L1 is equal to slope M1 and L2 is equal to slope M2. Okay. That means slope of line 1 and slope of line 2. Now, for the lines perpendicular to these two lines, okay, for lines perpendicular to L1 and L2 and passing through origin, what will the equation be since it's passing through origin? The equation is given by y is equal to mx, okay? The constant part is missing when the lines pass through the origin. Now, this m will be reciprocal of, let's say, y1. y is equal to 1 upon m1 minus 1 upon m1x, first equation, okay? And y is equal to 1 upon minus 1 upon m2x, second equation, okay? 
Now, well, minus 1 upon m1 and minus 1 upon m2. So, m1 and m2 were slopes of L1 and L2, right? So, reciprocal, a negative reciprocal of those would be the slopes of lines perpendicular to L1 and L2. Okay, so the equations will become y is equal to, or rather, let's simplify it. m1 y is equal to minus x. So x plus m1y is equal to 0, first equation, okay? And m2y plus x is equal to 0, second equation, okay? Now, combined equation of these two lines. So let us find combined equation of these two lines. one and two so it will be x plus m1 y multiplied by x plus m2 y equal to zero we'll have x square plus m2 x y plus m1 x y plus m1 m2 y square equal to zero so the last equation will be x square plus m1 plus m2 xy plus m1 m2 y square equal to 0 okay now what we can do is we can substitute m1 plus m2 and m1 m2 which we already have which is from here so m1 plus m2 is 8 upon 3 and m1 into m2 is 5 upon 3 let us put these values so our final equation will become x square plus 8 upon 3 xy plus 5 upon 3 y square equal to 0. Taking the LCMs, we'll have 3x square plus 8xy plus 5y square equal to 0. So this is the e combined equation of the lines perpendicular to the given combination of lines and passing through the origin okay so that is your final answer question three first one now question three second third both are of the similar pattern exactly same way you have to do them compare it to the standard equation of combined uh, uh, equation of lines okay and then uh, use the two uh, equations that we know for the slopes m1 plus m2 is minus 2h upon b and m1 m2 is a upon b these two equations are very important in this chapter. Okay, you use them most of the time. So remember this, M1 plus M2 is minus 2H upon B and M1, M2, M2 is A upon B. Okay, let's move to question four now. Question four. I'm doing the first one in question four it says find k if the sum of the slopes of the lines represented by so combined equation is given x square plus kxy minus 3y square equal to zero is twice their product so the given condition is given sum of their slopes m1 plus m2 is equal to twice the product so two times m1 m2 it is simple we'll use the equation and compare it with the standard equation so we'll say uh, comparing x square plus kxy minus 3y square equal to 0 with ax square plus 2hxy plus b y square equal to 0 okay so a is equal to 1 2h is equal to k and b is equal to minus 3 now what is m1 plus m2 from the previous sum if you remember m1 plus m2 is minus 2h upon b okay which is equal to minus k upon minus 3 okay and m1 into m2 is equal to a upon b 
which is equal to what is the value of a 1 and b is minus 3 so minus 1 upon 3 given m1 plus m2 is equal to 2 times m1 m2 they say that some of the slopes is twice the product so some of the slopes we have found out to be as minus k upon 3 k upon 3 is equal to 2 into what is m1 m2 minus 1 upon 3 okay so 3 cancels out therefore value of k is equal to minus 2 okay so question 4 is simple again you just have to uh, follow this procedure or uh, question 4 has three parts exactly similar manner you have to find the value of k let's move to question 5 now question 5 find the condition that the line 4x plus 5y equal to 0 coincides with one of the lines given by okay so find the condition that The line 4x, so now there are two sums in this part also. I'm doing the first one, the line 4x plus 5y. Equal to 0. Coincides. With one of the lines given by. given by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, here it says that there is a separate line 4x plus 5y equal to 0 and it coincides with one of the lines given by these, this combination of lines. Okay. So what we require here is the auxiliary equation. Now, what is this auxiliary equation? First, let us understand this, then we'll come back to the sum. Okay, so I'm doing the auxiliary equation here. Okay. Auxiliary equation. Now, we know that uh, combined equation is given by the formula ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to zero okay now this has two lines whose slopes are given by m1 and m2 okay so basically we say that slopes of this line m1 and m2 are the uh, quadratic roots of this equation okay so if they are the roots then we can say that m minus m1 multiplied by m minus m2 equal to zero okay basically i am trying to find out a quadratic in m okay using m1 and m2 because m1 and m2 are considered as roots of the uh, equation given by uh, this combined equation okay so m1 and m2 are roots of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square i'm finding a quadratic in m now how to do that so m minus m1 equal to Sorry, m minus m1 into m minus m2 is equal to 0. Let us multiply this. So we'll get m square minus m2m minus m1m plus m1m2. Okay, equal to 0, which will be m square minus common m1 plus m2 into m plus m1 m2 now what do we know about addition and multiplication of these slopes so we know that m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b okay and m1 m2 is equal to a upon b let us put these values in that quadratic so we'll have m square minus m square minus minus 2h upon b m okay plus a upon b equal to zero let us take lcm so we'll have bm square plus 2hm plus a equal to zero 
this here that we have got is called as the auxiliary equation of the combined equation okay so whenever uh, you have to find any condition that one different line is coinciding with a perpendicular to a combined equation we are going to make use of the auxiliary equation okay so auxiliary equation is got from the roots of the main equation bm square plus 2hm plus a okay so i'm going to make use of this auxiliary equation in this sum over here okay so for ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 the auxiliary equation is given by bm square plus 2hm plus a equal to 0. Okay. Now we have 4x plus 5y is one of the lines represented by. Now it says that uh, find the condition that the line 4x plus 5y coincides with one of the lines. Coincides means what? That it mixes with or uh, you can say replaces or also you can say overlaps. Right? So overlaps one of these lines. That means the equation of that line and equation of one of this combined equation line is 4x plus 5y equal to zero so we we'll write that given 4x plus 5y equal to zero is one of the lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Therefore, in that we have is 4x plus 5y equal to 0. We'll write this in the form of y equal to mx plus c and then get this slope. So 5y is equal to minus 4x. y is equal to minus 4 upon 5x. Okay, so therefore m is equal to minus 4 upon 5. Now this minus 4 upon 5 obviously is the root of the auxiliary equation. Is it correct? See, we have the auxiliary equation given by this. Bm square plus 2hm plus a equal to 0. We have one of the lines whose slope is same as the lines of the combined equation one of the lines of the combined equation so can we use that m value into this auxiliary equation yes so we'll say that this slope satisfies the auxiliary equation okay so Therefore, bm square plus 2hm plus a is equal to 0. Let us put the value of m minus 4 upon 5 square plus 2hm is minus 4 upon 5 plus a is equal to 0. So we have 16 upon 25b minus 8h upon 5 plus a equal to 0 taking uh, lcm we'll have 16b minus 40h plus 25a equal to 0 okay so we can write this as 25a plus 16b is equal to 40h.
Yes, so this is the required condition. If this condition is satisfied, then that given equation of the line will coincide with one of the lines of the combined equation. Okay, so this is how we do the uh, fifth one. Now moving on to question six. Okay, question six. If one of the lines given by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is perpendicular to px plus qy equals zero, show that. Okay, now see this first one that we did was one of the lines was coinciding. Okay, now we have one of the lines which is perpendicular. So how would we do this? Again, given equation, given combined equation is same. Okay. Ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to zero. Okay given perpendicular line is equal to px plus qy equal to zero okay auxiliary equation is equal to bm square plus 2hm plus a equal to zero now they say that one of the lines if one of the lines of this combined equation is perpendicular to px plus qy equal to zero, show that ap square plus 2hpq plus bq square is equal to zero. Prove that ap square plus 2hpq plus bq square is equal to zero. Okay, so how will we do this one now? Since one of the line is perpendicular to the given line, so we'll find out the slope first of the given line. Okay, so given line. Ex plus qy is equal to zero. So we have uh, qy is equal to minus px y is equal to minus p upon qx okay so this is your slope so slope m is equal to minus p upon q okay therefore slope of line perpendicular to px plus qy equal to zero will be what should it be negative reciprocal of the slope m so minus one upon m that is equal to minus of minus will become plus q upon p okay so this plus q upon p will be the slope of the line perpendicular to the line px plus qy equal to zero okay plus q upon p substituting Q upon P into the auxiliary equation. Okay. So what is our auxiliary equation? Bm square plus 2hm plus b, sorry, plus a equal to 0. B into Q upon P the whole square plus 2h Q upon P plus a equal to 0. Let's square the term. So we have bq square upon p square plus 2hq upon p plus a equal to 0. Taking LCM, we'll have bq square plus 2hpq plus p square a equal to zero now let's check what we have to prove so to prove that ap square so do we have ap square yes ap square plus 2hpq plus bq square is zero so we've got the required equation ap square plus 2hpq plus bq square equal to zero hence root okay so this was question number six 
Now we have to do question 7 and question 9 and then we move to the next topic. So let's go to the question 7 now. Okay. Question 7 says find the combined equation of the pair of lines through the origin and making an equilateral triangle with the line y equal to 3. So let us first uh, figure out how it will look like. Okay, so we'll have Yeah, we'll have the x-axis, the y-axis. Okay. Then we have a line y equal to 3. y equal to 3 is a line parallel to the x-axis. So let's draw that line as well. Okay. Yes, this is your line y equal to 3. Now, uh, they say that find the combined equation of the pair of lines through the origin and making an equilateral triangle with the line y equal to 3. Okay, so we'll have two lines going through the origin. Okay, that's how the diagram should look like. Let's label it now. This is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. right then we have y equal to 3 here and now we'll call this as origin this is a and this is b okay so oa and ob are the two lines passing through the origin and making a equilateral triangle so we'll say 60 degrees with y equal to 3 now if this angle is 60 degrees then here this angle will also be 60 degrees so OA makes an angle of 60 degrees with the x-axis and OB, okay, with the positive x-axis, what is the angle that it will make? It will make an angle of 120 degrees, okay. So what we require is now only, since they have asked us to find the combined equation of OA and OB, lines passing through the origin. So we'll say that to find Combined equation of OA and OB. Okay. Slope of OA is equal to tan theta. What is tan theta? Theta is the angle made by the line with the x-axis, positive x-axis. So tan of 60 degrees. What is tan 60? It is 1 by root 3, root 3, sorry, not 1 by root 3. Tan of 60 is root 3. The slope of OA is root 3. What will be equation of OA? So y is equal to mx, right? So therefore equation is y is equal to root 3x. We can say that uh, root 3x minus y equal to 0. Yes. Yes, so this is one of the equations. OA is already found out. Similarly, we'll find out equation of OOB. So slope of OB is equal to tan of theta, that is tan of 120, can be written as tan of 180 minus 60. Okay which is minus tan 60. So that is equal to minus of root 3. Therefore, equation is equal to y is equal to mx, okay, which will be y is equal to minus root 3x. So we can write the equation as root 3x plus y equal to 0. Therefore, Joint equation of OA and OB is 
What is the equation of OA? First, let's go there. Root 3x minus y. Okay. Into root 3x plus y. Equal to 0, which is x. 3x, sorry. Plus root 3 xy minus root 3 xy plus y square so minus y square equal to 0 so we have 3x minus y square equal to 0 you can directly use the formula also a minus b a plus b the whole square that is 3x square minus y square equal to zero so this is the combined equation of oa and ob okay now the last one if one of the lines uh, given by x square plus 2xxy plus by square equal to zero bisect an angle between the coordinate axes now this is similar to what we have just now done but just that we need to figure out how it looks like okay so what we'll do is i'm just going to show you how to solve it uh, the remaining part you can do on your own okay so say if one of the lines given by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square bisects an angle between the coordinate axis now bisects an angle between the coordinate axis means let's say this is your coordinate axis okay so one of the lines represented by one of the lines represented by the combined equation makes bisects an angle between the coordinate axes now bisects an angle means either it's making a 45 degree angle or sorry or it's making a 135 degree angle Okay, with the coordinate axis now the so auxiliary equation we know so we'll use that auxiliary equation now uh, slope of the line could be the slope of slope of line will be what Which are the two angles that are possible? It could make 45 degree angle or what is this angle over here? This is 90 and 45 that is 135 degree angle. Okay, so two possibilities either with the x-axis. So 45 degree or 135 degree. So M could be equal to tan of 45 or M could be equal to tan of 135. Okay, now tan of 45 is 1 and tan of 135 is minus 1. So M has two possibilities plus minus 1. Okay, let us use the auxiliary equation that is Bm square plus 2hm plus A equal to 0. Okay, let's put the value B plus minus 1 square plus 2h plus minus 1 plus a equal to zero so we'll have um, b plus a is equal to plus minus 2h so if we square on both sides we'll have b plus a the whole square is equal to 4h square and that's exactly what they have asked you to prove in question number nine They've asked you if one of the lines given by x square plus 2xxy plus by square 0 bisects an angle between the coordinate axes, then show that a plus b the whole square is equal to 4h square. Clear? So I've just shown it in short. You can write all the steps and then solve it. Okay, so here we complete with exercise 4.1. In the next session, we move on to the next topic of this chapter. If you have any doubts regarding this exercise, do write to me. I will solve those sums also and send you. Thank you so much.